Hi hey friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to record and play with debug debugging place using for code gen. Okay, using for playwright. Okay, code gen playwright. Okay, uh, this is the one we are going to discussing. And if you go to the document, why uh, this play? First, we'll discuss for the record and playback. Then we'll go for our uh, play with the website. What exactly they provided and based upon that, you can able to see also, okay? See, when you comparing to like uh, Selenium, we have uh, IDE. If you know that already Selenium, you can able to, you may be understand, maybe if you are the, uh, developer you are going to converting by using a Cypress or Playwood that moment maybe you will not understand but for that you can able to go through that my previous videos you can able to understand what exactly Selenium ID can do that okay here is basically Selenium ID can able to provide for record your script record your script and you can able to export export your script and also you can able to assert your script these are three things and even you can able to play that particular script you can play your script which is the one you recorded right those things you can able to do it is all the things you can able to do it in Selenium IDA, right? The same format, if you somebody knows, like you are the first time you are in a developer or you are a BA student or BCom student or something different technology, you don't know anything in the computer, but you want to learn from something automation side, when you're coming from the private also, having some auto-generated script. Auto-generated script is nothing but when when you are doing action in web application, what are the actions you can able to write? That all the actions, this record can able to record, record your actions and it will convert to automation script convert to automation automation script okay it will reduce you for your code even if you don't know how to create your python or selenium now i'm going to teach you by using python right but this playback and record code gen it will provide you for record actions with the, all the languages like it will provide for uh, Node.js code, it will provide for JavaScript code, and it will provide for uh, Python code, Java code, and .NET code. Any programming language, it will convert that particular code into that particular format. But the way today I'm going to show you, that is be belongs to Python running, okay? The similar format, if you want to run that uh, record one, you have to like other languages, you can able to go through for another language also. But for this, you have to install before that Python into your system. Python and Playwit, both the things you have to install into your local system. Then only you can able to learn, uh, run that particular Playwit script. Okay, you understand maybe, right? Uh, how it will convert and why we need that beginners can able to create a script by using recording. Based upon our condition, we can able to change our script. Okay, it will reduce for time and it will reduce the more effective. So, so many things. Okay, and if you go for playwright in uh, application and yeah, there is a test generator. This is a place you can able to see playwright comes with the ability to generate a test out of the box, and it is great the way to get started with the testing. It will open two windows. Means it will open for two windows. A browser window where you interacting with the website, you are wish to test and play with inspector window will where you can record your test or copy the testers, clear the test and as well as change the language 
whichever you want to convert that particular script. Okay, this is the way we can able to like uh, these are things it will provide for test generator. What it will provide whenever you open your code, which is a URL, which is a URL you open that moment it will provide two windows. One is you provided URL and another one is a uh, recording scripting window. These are the two windows it will open. Whenever you done the action, same thing it will reflect it to there also. Both the things it will uh, do same time. You can able to change that particular uh, which language you want to go and all. You can able to do it. I'll show you in that couple of minutes, next couple of minutes. You can understand that what exactly it is there. Okay. Here, they have provided for one script. See, this is a running. Like this, you can able to say, right? there are two windows. One is your opening window and another one is recording window. Okay. Playwright will... Uh, provide that entire records okay we'll see for this is the command you have to copy okay you can copy this window like a code once you copy go to cmd or you can able to open for here also in command prompt terminal also you can able to open any one of them you can able to try okay but in i'm going to do it for in a cmd this is the best way to open that's why I'm going to do for this particular one. Play with code gen and we need to provide for our URL. I'm going to provide for new URL that is called https double forward slash and www.google.com. This is the one I'm going to open. Now you can see now I entered. You can see here now it will opening for two windows. You can see, right? You can see there are two windows. One is my website one and another one is that recording one. You can able to see it is recording the option. You can able to copy here and you can able to resume your script and you can able to pass your script. You can step over every time. And it will provide for which language you want. Java, JavaScript, Playwright, and async one, and PyTest, and C Sharp. Which language you want. You can able to copy based upon that. Okay. Whatever you want, you can able to take it up the code based upon your condition. Now I'm going to make it for PyTest because our script basically we are using for PyTest uh, installation, right? playtest and playwait based upon that only our script will be run that's why i'm going to use for playtest uh, scripting format pytest it will be start with the name as a uh, test okay i'm going to make it for like this okay now you can able to search here i'm going to do for i'm doing four actions now okay you can see uh, here also it will reflect the same time Just even I clicked it and you can see the search box lo locator, it is clicked. And I'm going to testing. Tutorials. Point. You can see now I'm entering. Now you can see the action it is done. It is write the script. Okay, it will fill the data. And also it is take the locator with the navigator expected one and it is done for enter. And now I'm going to choose any one of them. You can able to scroll down also. Now I clicked here, you can see it is clicked there and I'm scrolling down. You can see now even Arrow is down. Every time with the arrow, it is down. Okay. Now I'm going to stop my record. Now I stop the record. Okay. Now I need to convert into, I need to copy means I can able to copy it here, but I want to change the language. Then I'm going to choose for PyTest. Okay. And the PyTest I'm going to do for, if I want to pass it, you can able to pass the record whenever you will recording. 
and you can able to play back and you need to copy if you want again record you can able to click the record and again you can start whenever you want to stop you can able to stop the record whenever you want to do for record again you can able to do it okay it will record your code and now i'm going to copy and you can see now i'm pasting here see everything code is presented here okay everything it is presented can i'll delete remaining things not required much okay saving this one you can see it is provided for all the details of your uh, code what are the things it is recorded right everything we, uh, it is presented for recording okay how many ways you can able to record that also they provided if you want to go for here this is a link they provided. You need to go to in this link. Okay, you have to choose the first one. Is normal one which I showed you. And even you can able to open the view report, which is the, uh, these links are opening, right? That particular one also you can able to specify the size of the windows. Now I'm copying this one. I'm canceling this one. Okay, again, I'm going to use it for here. Sorry. See, now here I'm going to do it. Now you can see 80 and 60, the view report of the pages. Two windows size, it is declaration. Now you can see the two windows open parallelly with the resizing. Right. It is by default it provides the size. How much you want, you can able to specify based upon your condition. Okay, this is a one format. And another format also they provided. If you go down, there are so many ways. If you want the mobile view of application opening, that also you can able to provide. This is the device iPhone 11 format. If you provide this one, it will it will open for emulator to the browser. Emulator browser, it will open. Okay, how it will looks, you can able to see now. Sorry. Now I'm removing the size. View report one. And you can able to see. Now if I'm running this one, it will open for, see, iPhone mobile view. It is open in web socket window. The Chrome it is default, it will open for I, uh, that particular iPhone 11. It will look like, like this, and that's why it is taking for WebKit. WebKit has a one kind of uh, browser. You can able to record your uh, actions here. How many ways you want to do it, you can able to do it. And even you can able to change the color of that particular background. What type of color you want, you can able to choose. And also emulator, what type of like location you want, you can able to do it. If you want the presence of authenticated states, like authenticated is nothing but you done that for first, first time you made that record and there uh, what will happen, you given for username and password, but you use for save stories auth.gen. If you provide this particular name and run and you provide it for username password to log in for that particular application okay what will happen it will store for odd.gen into your mobile uh, that particular script location and the browser also whenever you want to call back means you want to use this odd gen without taking any back-end explanation that moment what you have to do just load storage equal to auth.json. Then what will happen? What are the username is already taken and stored into the backend? It will take like we can able to say data driven framework. Data driven framework, what we are doing, we are storing our script into a uh, Excel sheet, the username password, and we are using it. The similar format here also it will do it. Okay, this is another kind of uh, action. We can able to record all the custom things. 
you can uh, after giving it uh, everything right you can able to change based upon your script uh, whatever you want right you can able to do it then you showed me how to record a, uh, a test case then how to do for play with a debugging definitely you'll get some question right now i'm going to use it here after opening my browser just here if you want to do for debugging just use the page dot pass if you use the pass what will happen it will stop the execution there like how we are doing for uh, debug while you are using here putting the breakpoint and running your breakpoint like debug mode and then you are running you are making for one by one validation right but if you make the page dot pass it will run into that particular uh, browser itself you can able to track everything into the browser how we can able to do it by test and here my particular script is presented into a play with play package place okay and i can able to use a play right slash and i'm going to test underscore demo one dot py Oh. We'll see the uh, your response shit. Because we are not opened our browser navigations, right? Me, I found yes. Oh, which one we can take? Uh, Chrome or Firefox, which one is working in my system? One minute, we can run into Chromium itself. I have Chromium, right? Browser space Chromium, and I can able to use for because we need to see for headed headed mode uh, because we need to see in the UI the past, right? Page dot pass it is presented. We have to stop and we need to see. Now again, you can able to see, right? This inspector, it is open. Inspector, private inspector. There's another future here. You can able to see, you can able to resume. Resume means it will execute for everything. Otherwise, you can able to step by step, you can do it. It will do for what all the actions it is doing, see? One by one, you can able to see same actions. You can able to see all the things. Now it is closed. It is called debugging in a browser place. Okay, this is simplest format of uh, how we can able to use for play with inspector by using record a play with debugging using code gen. Okay, this is all about for. Uh, recording playback. I hope you understand this one. Please like me, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues. Thank you.